Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Welcome back, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at day two of our story called the mouse. Squeak, squeak. That's right. And the vocabulary words are temporary. Temporary. To save money, the company prefers to hire temporary workers. Rug. Rug. It was cold inside the train car. So I covered my legs with a rug to keep warm. Aww, pest. Pest. Ants are one of the most common pests that can be found in people's homes. Situation. Situation. Zoe found herself in a bad situation when her car broke down in a dangerous neighborhood. <gasps> Shame. Shame. It's a shame that we have to cancel our wedding. Oh no! I know. Okay, so we've got a pretty entertaining story here. That's right. So there's a man on a train. That's right. Mouse. A mouse is stuck in his clothing. Mm -hmm. So he has to take off his clothes to get the mouse. Out. But there's another passenger, which is a lady、mm. in the same car, right? Right. So that's a little embarrassing. You can't take off your clothes in front of a lady you hardly know. That's super embarrassing.、Mm. But there, I guess th there's a rug in the train car,、mm -hmm. so he kind of puts the rug up between the two of them, right? Yeah. To block. So that she cannot see that he's getting undressed, right? Exactly to cover、mm. himself so that she can't see. That's right. So he does that. He takes off his clothes. The mouse gets away. Phew! But at that exact moment when the mouse got away, <gasps> the rug fell. And guess what happened? She woke up. <gasps> that is the most embarrassing thing. Ever. That is so embarrassing. That's right. So, so he was trying his best to explain to、mm. her,、uh -huh, this, this was,、uh, this was really what happened.、Yeah. You know, I'm not, you know, really weird. I'm not trying to get、yeah. undressed in front of you. But still, you know, he's sitting there with the covered. He got the rug again. He's covered up, but、mm -hmm. he's still going to have to put the rug. Down and put his clothes on, right? That's right. Wow, this is so embarrassing. So, what is the lady going to do? What is she going to say? What does she think? Maybe I, she's going to call the police. I guess we'll have to find out. All right. Let's、mm, find out. Find out. Enjoy. The mouse. Theodora created a temporary partition with a rug and got undressed. As soon as his clothes dropped to the floor, the mouse scurried off. He was free from the little pest. However, at that exact moment, the rug also fell down to the floor, which woke up the sleeping passenger with a thud. He turned red from embarrassment and tried to cover himself with the rug. Today's lesson is called the mouse, part two. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, it's part two of our story for this month, titled "The Mouse." And the mouse in the story, you'll remember, is inside Theodoric's pants.、Mm. He's on a train. He's a nervous guy normally. He's going home, and because of a problem earlier in the day, he got a mouse in his clothes in his. Pants. It's biting him. It's uncomfortable. He needs to take his pants off. But the problem is, he's on a train, as I said, and there's a young woman he doesn't know sharing this part of the train, this part of the train car. So, what's he going to do? Yeah, she's asleep. Oh, that's true. She's asleep. So maybe he'll be able to do this: take off his pants without waking her up, and maybe then he can take care of his. Problem. Anyways, Theodoric knows that he needs to get rid of this mouse, and、mm -hmm. to do so, he has to take off his clothes. So he starts to do this. First, though, Theodoric created a temporary partition with a rug and got undressed. Wow.、So、that, that, he's pretty resourceful.、Yeah. Anyways, here we have this word temporary. If something is temporary, it's not meant to last for a long time. It's not meant to be permanent. So here, he wanted to shield himself so people couldn't see him. So he put up this partition, this 
temporary partition and apparently he formed this with a rug and then he got undressed. Anyways, for example, to save money, the company prefers to hire temporary workers. They're not going to be full-time employees there for a long time, just for a short time. Okay, so he put up a partition, which is kind of like a wall. So he uses a rug to do this. Luckily, he has a rug with Luckily. him. Yeah. Maybe he found it on the floor of the train car or something, but a rug is basically like a carpet. It's the kind of thing you might put on the floor in a house or in a room to keep your feet warm during a cold weather or something like that. Carpets or rugs can be decorated. They're often made of something strong, a fabric like wool or something like that, maybe plastic these days. And yeah, we use them to keep the floor clean to keep our feet comfortable or just to decorate a room but it's kind of like a thick blanket that you put on the floor um, to walk on top of for example it was cold inside the train car so I covered my legs with a rug to keep warm mm, okay yeah sure. more like a thick blanket so he's yeah. using this basically as a wall to block the girl from seeing him if she wakes up so that's a pretty good idea and it seems to work we read as soon as his clothes dropped to the floor, the mouse scurried off. So he was able to get his pants off, and the mouse ran away. Problem solved. Yeah, he was free. Yay. He was free from the little pest. It but worked. This story's not over oh, yet. No. He's still uh, unclothed, oh, true. naked, and now there is a mouse running around in the train car. Only something bad can happen next. <sighs> Anyways, here we have this word pest, okay? A pest in this particular situation is something that is annoying to you. It bothers you. Mice can be called pests. Cockroaches can be called pests. Uh, mosquitoes can be called pests, so on and so forth. By the way, here the word pest is a noun. For example, ants are one of the most common pests that can be found in people's homes. So, the mouse is free, his pants are off, all he has to do is put his pants on, take down the rug, and no one will know. So, something happens. However, it says at that exact moment, just when he's there with no pants on, however, at that exact moment, the rug also fell down to the floor, which woke up the sleeping passenger with a thud, Bang! The passenger wakes up, the girl is awake, and Theodoric is standing there with no pants on. So what did he do? He, he got embarrassed. He turned red from embarrassment and tried to cover himself with the rug. How is he going to explain himself? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be back. After this, I can almost hear the girl screaming. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的故事读到，有一只老鼠在 Theodoric 的身上爬来爬去。那虽然车厢里面有另外一名小姐在睡觉，可是她现在觉得越来越不舒服，就只能把衣服脱掉了。于是她就用毛毯做一个临时的隔板。当他衣服一脱掉，那个老鼠咻一下就溜走了，顺利摆脱那只讨厌的动物。这边用到三个单词 ：temporary。Temporary， 它是形容临时的、暂时的。Rug，rug， rug, 它可以指毛毯、毯子或是地垫。那么 Mike 老师提到毯子、地毯可能会用羊毛之类的布料制作。那么老师说的 fabric，fabric fabric 就表示织物或是布料，它是拼作 f a b r i c。好，下一个单词 pest，pest， pest, 它可以指害虫、讨厌的人或是讨厌的事物。这边还有一个重点，我们来看一下。As soon as， 它是引导副词子句，来表达一怎么样就怎么样，相当于 once。我们来造两个例句。As soon as she saw her parent， s her face broke into a smile。她一见到爸妈，脸上就突然露出笑容了。Once he entered the room， he noticed a strange smell。他一进到房间，就发现一股怪味。好，那我们刚刚说这个 
。Theodora 她用毛毯来做那种临时隔板，掩护自己脱衣服，这还蛮聪明的。只不过就在这个老鼠溜走的那一刻，她的毛毯掉到地上，砰一声就吵醒了那一位在睡觉的乘客，这下尴尬了。在年轻女子面前没有穿衣服，你跳到黄河都洗不清了。刚刚 Jeff 老师用到好几个好用单词，我们可以学起来。老师用到 resourceful。R E S O U R C E F U L, resourceful 可以形容机智的、善于随机应变的。还有用到 shield, S H I E L D, shield 可以当动词来表达保护、遮蔽、阻挡。还有用到 unclothed, unclothed 是形容没穿衣服的、裸体的。它是拼作 U N C L O T H E D, U N C L O T H E D, unclothed. 接华课文中 ，The mouse. He did his best to explain the situation to the lady and told her that he was not feeling well. When he saw that the train was approaching the station, he knew he had to hurry up and get dressed fast. He dropped the rug and threw on his clothes just as the train pulled into the station. Poor Theodoric. He's He's in a bad situation. Yeah, he did his best to explain the situation to the lady, and told her that he was not feeling well. Yes, I'm standing here naked, covered only by a rug. Um, and here's my explanation of this situation. He did、okay. his best. All right, but situation. This noun is kind of a word that means almost anything that's going on. Hey, what's going on? What's your situation? You might say to your friend as you call them on the phone. Oh, I'm just finishing work, or oh, I'm at the store with my parents, or oh, I'm just sitting down to watch a movie right now. That's what's happening. That's what's going on. But we often use this to talk about something that's a little strange, a little interesting, a little out of the ordinary. You wouldn't just say, "Yes, I'm going to drink some water." That's my situation right now.、Eh, that's not quite interesting enough, but it could be because your situation is just what's happening, what's going on. For example, Zoe found herself in a bad situation when her car broke down in a dangerous neighborhood. Oh, that is an interesting、mm. situation to be in. Anyways, when he saw that the train was approaching the station.、Uh -huh. He knew he had to hurry up and get dressed fast, so he might actually get stuck on this train in this situation. So、mm. he acted fast.、Yes. He dropped the rug and threw on his clothes just as the train pulled into the station. Sorry, madam. <laughs> And I bet he got out of there as fast as he could. Well, not perfect, but he seemed to handle it fairly well. And hopefully, this girl won't be too disturbed by his strange behavior. We'll find out what happens after the break. 好 ，Theodora 现在超尴尬的。她想尽办法要跟那位年轻女子解释状况，说她自己身体不舒服，什么什么的。好，那接着火车快要进站，她只好抓紧时间，赶快丢下毛毯，匆匆忙忙穿上衣服。这边用到一个单词是 situation，situation situation 就表示处境或是情况。解华课文中 ，The mouse。After the train came to a stop, the lady asked him if he could get someone to help put her into a taxi. It's a shame to trouble you when you're feeling unwell, but being blind makes one so helpless at a railway station. She said. Okay, so he's in the train there. Theodoric is, and it's pulling in to the station. And after the train came to a stop, the lady asked him. If he could get someone to help put her into a taxi,、hmm. interesting. So apparently, this lady's still willing to talk to him. Yeah. All right. So the train journey's over. They're at the station. Instead of just saying goodbye and walking away, the lady says, "Hey, can you help me get a taxi?" That's kind of unusual, but you know, it's the old times. Maybe that's what people did. And then she goes on to explain more. She says, "It's a shame to trouble you when you're feeling unwell, but being blind makes one so helpless at a railway station." 
she said. So, so she's apologizing and saying, "I know you don't feel good. I don't want to give you trouble, but I'm blind." She says, "My eyes don't work, and so I can't do this for myself. So that, I need your help." That's why she's still willing to talk to him, and she didn't, didn't know run away about in fear. Anything. She's blind. Didn't see anything. Didn't see a thing. Anyways, it's a shame. It says here, if something is a shame, oh, that's too bad. It's something that might be unlucky or which won't make you feel all that good. So yes, it's a shame. I'm sorry that I have to do this. I know this is bad. So on and so forth. That's the idea here. You know, you can also say that shame is a feeling of embarrassment that you feel. After you've done something wrong, or after you've inconvenienced someone, or something like that, for example, it's a shame that we have to cancel our wedding. Yes, that is too bad. You're gonna have to cancel the wedding. Terrible. All right, folks, that's it for our article. But we're not quite done yet. We still have the what do you think question to ask and then answer. Hey, Mike, have、mm. you ever found yourself in an embarrassing situation? What happened? Um, that's a tough question.、Uh, well, one time, I no, actually, I can't really think of a good embarrassing situation story. How about you? Gosh, me too. I'm drawing a blank here. I have never been once in an embarrassing situation. <laughs> really?、Yeah. Never. So so lucky. We're too. Lucky people. You never had that time when you spent the whole afternoon with sort of tomato sauce on your face from lunch, and no one told you that this happened. Oh, that's what happened to you. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. That that、uh, that actually no, did happen. That, that never、me. that's never happened. No.、Me. Just a lucky guy. Wow, you're. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. When we come back, I'm going to put a mouse in my pants. Yeah, and you got something on your face. Uh oh. Theodora 赶在火车靠站之前把衣服穿好。那么火车停下来之后，那位小姐问他，可不可以找人协助他上计程车？嗯，这位小姐也太淡定了吧。好，我们先来看这边有三个重点。第一个是 come to 加名词，它是指说达到某个状态或是结果。像我们可以说 come to a stop。停下来，停止。Come to an end 表示结果告终等等。例如。All good things come to an end. 所有美好的事物都一定会结束。这就类似我们中文说的“天下没有不散的筵席”。好，第二个重点 ，if 引导名词短句可以当受词用来表达是否怎么样怎么样，那就会跟 whether 主词加动词的意思一样。例如 ，I don't know if Brad has free time this week. 也可以说成 I don't know whether Brad has free time this week. 我不知道 Brad 这礼拜有没有空。那这时候名词短句就是当受词用喽。第三个重点 ，get 在这边表示使得或是让。那么 get 受词再加不定词，就是表达要某人做某事。例如 ，Emma is trying to get her husband to quit smoking. Emma 试着要让她的先生戒烟。好，话说回来，为什么那一位年轻小姐对于 Theodora 这种失礼的行为没有反应，还淡定的请她帮忙呢？原来这一位小姐她眼睛看不见，她还对 Theodora 说：“很遗憾，在她身体不舒服的时候还要麻烦她，真不好意思哎。”好，我们最后来看单字 shame。shame 它有羞耻的意思，可是，在课文里面它是指遗憾或是可惜。那么 Jeff 老师刚刚用到 inconvenience 这个字，就是。在方便便利 convenience 前面加上 i n， 那这时候这个字它可以当名词来表达不便、麻烦。我们也可以把 inconvenience 当做动词来表达给什么造成不便、造成麻烦。好，那么以上今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。各位同学，大家好，我是季安老师。我们今天带大家看照片描述 photographs。来，今天呢要。谈这个必备词汇，但是我们不讲单字，我们直接给大家看一下，然后直接练习了。OK， 好，那我们一个一个看哈、哦。你可以暂停，然后截图，或者是暂停，直接把它背下来也是 OK 的。OK， 好了，准备好了，看到场景题就直接开始想说，哎，这个人是谁，对不对 ？S V O L， 不要忘记喽。那是谁？他在干嘛？那场景是在哪里呢？地点哈，然后他在穿的东西是什么 ？A. 
A woman is looking at herself in the mirror. B. A woman is working on a store's window display. C. A woman is trying on a pair of high heels. D. A woman is modeling shoes for a catalog company. Okay, 然后所以答案呢应该还蛮明显。她在试穿。A woman is trying on a pair of high heels. High heels 就是高跟鞋，其他都不对哦。里面没有 mirror， 对不对？然后 working on a A store's window display. It is not in front of the window display. Window display, ah, window display. Ah, not in front of the 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 window display. Ah, not in front Shopping carts are beside the store entrance. B. The woman is shopping for food. C. A cashier is collecting a payment. D. Some souvenirs are on display. All right. Okay. So you know, 这边 some carts are beside the entrance. 有 cart, shopping carts. Okay. 有，但是这里不是 store entrance， 不是入口。答案是 B. Woman is shopping for food. 她在买食物。Cashier is collecting payments. 好 ，cashier 收银员正在收账款，并没有。最后 ，some souvenirs are on display. Souvenirs 是这种啊、呃、礼品，欧米亚给这种东西哈。所以这边都不行。答案选 B. All right. 那我们来看下一个场景。景的单字，饭店跟住宿哦，哦，这些你可以暂停哦，把不会的单字抄下来。OK， 好，准备开始喽。A. The housekeepers are making up the room. B. The women are in the spa. C. Towels are being placed on the nightstand. D. A bellhop is showing a guest to their room. All right. Okay. So the answer is pretty clear. Housekeepers, 就是这个清洁人员啊 are making up the room. Make up the room 就是在整理房间哈。他在铺床，把东西弄得干干净净、整整齐齐的。第二个 ，women are in the spa. 这里不是 spa. Towels are being placed on the nightstand. Nightstand 就是这个床头桌、床头柜。放了这个 towel， 并没有，对不对 ？A bellhop， 这个是行李员 ，is showing the guests to their room。哦，这边没有行李员就不是啦。再来。A. The man's ordering room service. B. A taxi has been ordered by the front desk clerk. C. The porter is near the hotel's entrance. D. The clerk is giving the guests their key card. All right, so the answer is the last one, right? The clerk, oh, this clerk is actually the clerk, or the clerk of the hotel. These are all. Anyway, as long as it's a clerk, or a clerk of the hotel, or a clerk of the hotel, these are all considered to be the clerk. He is giving the guests their key card. 给他们房卡。那其他 ，the man is ordering room service。这看不起来不是客房服务，因为客房服务是要在房间里面的啊、哦，这个不是。Taxi 没有看到 taxi 就不是了。OK， is being ordered by the front desk clerk。有没有可能？有可能，他帮他叫计程车了，但是这边看不到，就不能选。The porter is near the hotel's entrance。好，这边我们没有看到 porter， 哦，就是行李员。所以呢，图片上没有的就不能脑补，记得这一点。答案是 D。以上是我们今天的课程内容，我们下部影片见，拜拜。